Hello everybody, Fully Parasival back for another wonderful video and uh, we were playing Baldur's Gate. Uh, before we were on our way into the captain's quarters and uh, we were just exploring the crash a little bit more. Obviously we're going to turn these assholes against us and that's going to be a fun ride. But until we do that, you know how it's going to be. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hope, no, expect that Chibrai will aid us. It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. <laughs> it's just me and Lazel arguing with each other. <laughs> I'm the only one multiclassing. The rest of these assholes, I'm making them stay as rogues and other things. Actually, no, I'm, I'm multiclassing a couple of them. I kind of want to make a Sterion into a, into a solid version of me. Uh, our mm -hmm. esteemed guest, please approach. We gotta. Have much to discuss. We gotta. We gotta save. This is a. This is an automatic. Gotta save before this conversation sort of feel. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing Gake slave vessel. Chry, Vlakith's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. I wouldn't to business. say that, but you know, I we got close. You plucked something precious from the Gake ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Absolutely. Not. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. Hmm. Produce the artifact. What do I get in return if I give it to you? Uh, this weapon, what does it do? Uh, shouldn't you be much more concerned with the Mind Flare invasion? And I think we're going to go with... How do you know so much about me? Some of your species say knowledge is power. They are wrong. Knowledge is everything. We took an interest in you when you became involved with this absolute cult. Yep. A pestilence of infected slaves. The first symptom of the grand design in action. What if I told you but we're you going to lucky. stop that? That weapon you carry is the solution. I have heard it from Queen Vlakith herself. Hand it over. <sighs> How will this weapon stop the mind flare? That is a secret known only to Queen Vlakith. Its significance is beyond both of our stations. So, the weapon. Please. Don't give it to him. I won't let Do you take not it. Try me. Hand over the artifact or die by my hand. Remember the Zathisk? These Gith can't be trusted. Follow my lead. I'll choose the right path. The Zathisk. It's, it's cruel. I hate that you speak the truth. One of my lovers is arguing with me. Shadow Heart get her again. <laughs> we are keeping the artifact. Our fate is forged. Mother Gith, guide us. <coughs> Your illustrious adventure ends here. Hetasith. I don't think you guys understand. I'm a man of action, a beautiful man who can honestly and truly end a good portion of lives with just one arrow. That was a, a terrible example, I'm going to be honest. Uh, hold on, give me a second. And we don't have any more side actions, but that's okay. 
We'll hit that boy with another one. And then we'll get a jaunting tune going. Why Gale? I'm trying to take out my wizard? Bastard. I'm so glad that I, uh... I don't think I actually put shit on Gale. That's, uh... That explains a little bit. Ah, uh, it's an either or. Actually, we can get a good stab in, though. Oh. Yeah, we used our... Obviously. <laughs> Alright. You two together. Make Dad proud. And how beautiful it will be. Did you know that I gave her a sword? It's a pretty cool one. Ooh. Ready to do anything? Are you sure? Ooh, he saved it. Good on him, honestly. Ooh, perfect. Oh, beautiful. All right, Carlac, can you go clean up the big boy up there for me? I think me and Lazel got the big boy. Yeah. It's so great hearing me with music in the background. Uh, I think you can just, like, guiding bolt him, actually, right now. <coughs> that wasn't bad. Uh, could you get, give Gale a heal? He's kind of in need of it. Where's my boy? Oh, there you are. Alright, Gale, get your revenge. Perfect. And with that, back up to top of rounds. And oh, you poor, poor fool. I was here the entire time. I always like zooming in drastically into the back of someone's head whenever I'm <laughs> trying to kill them. It's just so cool. Ooh. Hungry for the soup, sir. Oh wait, no, that's a that's a sneak attack. Oh yeah. Still no? Damn. Impressive resistance, but few times. No. <laughs> I'll use all my third level spells to make sure that you, you son of a bitch, do not move from that spot as I kill you. I've disobeyed a lot of gods so far, and I'm only going to continue disobeying more of them, so let me tell you something. Your god cannot protect you. Inquisitor Wawargaz was potent. We are impressed. My 
queen. Skarthai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. <laughs> Stay standing exactly as you are. As far as I'm aware, still, uh, my character at least is aware, is this is a god. I should actually be home. It's not going to cause any negatives between everybody else. These attendants you keep, you taught them well, my child, my laser. Chma Zala Flaketh, you know me. Erlon of Kalir speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Lizzo, we just gotta finish this. You bear that which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? It's currently protecting me. I'm the hero who found your weapon. Your utility is proven, but your heroism is yet to be witnessed. Bullshit! I've saved so many people. To see if you are as capable as you profess to be. <sighs> that weapon you carry. The astral prison. It is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design, sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. <laughs> as long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this, and ascend! Ascension, my queen. Ooh. You know, she talks such sweet words to you, Lazo. But know this, the cost of refusal is great. Not merely great, Lazo. Eternal. I can't do that. The person inside protects us from the absolute. You are being lied to. I will be obeyed! Skra, do not defy my queen! If you're a god, do it yourself. Perhaps I misheard. You would not speak ill of a god, would you? Do not test her. <laughs> she will be <sighs> I just think a real god could kill whoever. <laughs> Man, we died. It's so unfair. I think I gotta do the boss fight again. Should have saved after. After I was talking to uh to Blacketh. Uh, note to self though, uh, she still has god powers. I was smited. <laughs> you have a I took All right. the weapon. 
Don't do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. Uh, how do you know something about me? Put you up. Hand it over. Uh, how will this weapon stop the mind so, flare? Don't give it to him. I won't do let you take it. Me. Hand over the artifact or remember the Zathis. We are keeping the artifact. <laughs> We're killing them again. Maybe this time it'll be a a little bit more high in the sky of a dream. Ah, oh, why can't people just die instantaneously when I shoot them with arrows? You always gotta have like six health left. Always agitating me. Can't believe it. Sure. Uh... Swift and lethal. Can you give the boy the good old soul breaking? Right there. It missed? Wow. Oh, well, if that's okay, maybe he'll drop his weapon finally. He was ready to parry. No. <laughs> no. His dex is way too high right now. You've been rallied. Nice. You got all those temporary hit points. No, 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 no. You clearly don't know what you're doing. Oh, you son of a bitch. What's this? Karlak, I need you to strike that man down in all holy glory. Oh my god. How are my shots this time missing so bad? I'm thinking sometimes you just need a couple of magic missiles. So you know what? We'll give two to this guy. Bucket, we'll give two to this guy. And one to the big bad. Got to keep fighting. Uh, you do not have the thing yet. So your best bet is actually probably to go inflict some wounds. There we go. Dead on arrival. That's what we like to see. Uh, if you could give a hit, uh, if you could give Gale a little touch up, he would be oh so kind about it. Oh, I fucking fucking Will's over here right now as well. A little bit injured. Oh, never mind. This guy's not gonna last. Come on, just one right to the face. Oh my god. Let's spill some blood. I will ascend. Ooh, please, Lazel, finish this up. I could use a good hit. Oh my god, Lazel. How could you do this? Wow. Can you at least give him a good old... Oh my god.
Wow. Oh, I'm Gale. Or I'm fucking Will. My god. It's go time. Fucking go get that guy, because he's pissing me off. <laughs> Oh, they're good. Inquisitor Wawargaz was potent. We are impressed. Mm. All right, let's do redo this conversation, but we're going to save now. My queen. Skarthai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. I... The deathless queen has spoken. You will obey. All right. Only because I'm currently also having sex with you. <laughs> These are Chmar. Oh, Lord. You see, Istic. You bear that which is ours. But are you friend? Or are you thief? You're a I'm that the hero. As a lord. Kill them! And us! Not merely great, Lazar. Eternal. This is the greatest the risk versus reward. To enter the artifact. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. You will not leave this room. Barn is in. I'll each step. I'm not going to kill her. I couldn't. Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower. That's a portal, baby. Or at least a device to make a portal. Connected to a separate My space. Hot with excitement. It's almost. For the first time, we're at the astral plane. This place is wild. I can't believe it. A timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold. A pocket of astral plane. This is exactly, indeed, what I said. Boundless. <laughs> Timeless. Like every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. Yes, astral gravity. We were meant to come here anyways. We're also not getting the whole story from our wonderful lady. <coughs> but that's okay. <coughs> oh. Divine Bone Shard. Alright, time to go in. We will talk in private. Just the two of us.
I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki, but you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? Nah, I have to fulfill every story. And now... You've come here to murder me. I haven't come here to <laughs> murder you, I just want to talk. Very well. What do you want to know? Why does Vlacketh want you dead? Vlacketh wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule. The end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlacketh warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. Fair. Very fair. I'm Honestly, on truth side. fair. I have been since the very beginning. Is this some kind of truth? I already told you I, that I'm just like you. If this was not enough to convince you, what more is there to say? Get up. You won't be... You won't die today. But... <laughs> well, I could be damned. <laughs> if she wants you dead, she could kill you herself. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Blacketh will be furious, to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Blacketh's a goddess. What could you possibly know that would bring her em bring down her empire? Godlike in power, yes. But with none of the sanctity. Blacketh is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist Illithid control, which Blackith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. Eh. Let her try. I protect my allies. That's a problem. What's the power? A logical question. But you're not ready for the answer. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there. Searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire Kresh stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. Speak. Have you killed my Queen's enemy? Actually, I learned a few things. Your queen is lying to you. Vlacketh does not lie to her faithful. Open your mind. Show me. Oh, let me. Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Go ahead. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Vlacketh Tafkinazin. I see only. Only madness. Blacketh bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the great mother Gith. Skvar, we are leaving this place now. Okay.
I would love to leave well, the I'm astral plane. Your senses. Astral prism. Now leave before the others come for us. Vlakin. Vlakin. I have wielded your fury as a blade, roared your wrath as a dragon. Mm -hmm. You promised ascension. Yet I crawl among my own people, low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! I followed your path. What good? This heart of stone, for it to be shattered. Damn! She tests me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. An impressive show of faith. Will it be enough for your queen? Silence! I must think. All right, let's go around and clear off the things from these assholes. And we're gonna have to deal with a lot of other assholes too after this. An elegant chest. Don't mind if I do. Uh, read up on this stuff, see if there's anything cool. I don't think so. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, an elegant chest, strange conduit ring. That'll be very nice for some people. bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Or was it... I think it might have been... that? No. This? And then... Lathander blesses the rising bountiful sun. Wait, I think we're in the exact opposite ways. And then... This? Oh yeah. Decorative barrels. Now let's get the mace for uh Shadowheart. Incredible. Completely untouched. It looks frozen in time. Uh, I think we gotta... Yeah. Perfect. Can knock out that. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, can I actually shoot the crystal from here? I never actually went to check. I'll, uh, I'll make my way over there. And, uh... I think this is, we're in good pace to do the, uh, the other things. Alright, 
Come on. Cool. And with this, we should be... Golden? Find the blood of Lathander. I... Can I, like, deactivate the traps and shit? That's what I really want to know. I think we'll see how it goes. We're going to save first. And then I'm going to do something really funny. Trust me. An ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. This size piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace must be the legendary blood of Lathander. The amber is said to contain the blood of the Morning Lord himself. Damn. Reach into the light and take the you mace. You recall all the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. Take the mace anyways. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. So that's what it does. Everything is in motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Don't just make cool. Get me out of here. There must be a way to get them out. Someone else, find a way out of here. Uh Hold on. Uh, I should have a potion uh, or a scroll of misty step. That's what I'm thinking. If not, I can always throw on the necklace uh, that I'm wearing that should have misty step on it. Right now, I'm just trying to get uh, Shadow Heart out of there. I feel bad if Shadow Heart's in there while that's going down. Thank you. 
ready and willing. I wanna, I wanna know what happens. I'm curious. I'll do the right thing after this, but I'm just curious. We've already died once this time. What's a second? All right. Since, uh, we're all dead, and there's nobody. Can't even go talk to Withers. Uh, let's reload the save and actually do this right. I think we taught that Inquisitor a very valuable lesson. We won't be ambushing anyone else in a hurry, or doing anything else, for that matter. All right. We should have the... There we go. The Dawn Master's Crest from our puzzle upstairs. Oh yeah. Got the goddamn power of the sun on our side now. Hmm. All right, let's go back to Shadow Heart so we can put this bad boy on her. And for anybody who doesn't know, this bad boy is the blood of Lathander. Once per long rest, when you hit points are reduced to zero, you regain two to twelve hit points. Allies within nine meters also regain, and it also has the powerful fucking spell Sunbeam on it. So now we'll just have access to that. Quite a heavily guarded treasure. Good job we got past those protections. The monks were intent on keeping their relics safe. They didn't count on us, though. Is that such a surprise? It looks powerful enough to level a mountain. <laughs> I, I'm letting you know, yes, indeed, it was powerful enough to level a mountain because I was there. Uh, let's, let's do a long rest just to see what we have going on first before we continue. I think this is the right time to do the long rest. Our next goal is definitely going to be... Uh, I am Vlacket's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Yeah? A hatchery with a single egg. How much does a clutch usually contain? Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Dang, that's actually pretty impressive. Getting it looks uh, quite humanoid. How did you evolve to lay eggs? Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. I'm not saying we're humans. I'm Our a fucking elf. <laughs> state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. That's honestly very bare. <laughs> Who does the laying? I'm curious about the logistics. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlacketh herself to bear young. <laughs> the queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, 
carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Hmm. Go on then. Uh, the crash training room was illuminating. Our Gith instructor is always so brutal. My own Savage would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kaleer had a hundred times circled to Rill. That's incredible. I have no doubt they deserved it. Of course. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. Yeah. They underestimated me, so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Hm. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. All right, we have something going on. So I'm assuming the moment we sit down for a nice little talk. I think we've overstayed our welcome in this place. If we ever truly had one to begin with, we should leave. Yes. Uh, yes. I could not agree more. Genuinely. Hurry towards the sound. What's going on? I thought something was wrong. Observe the pairs for Nothing. any signs. Both animals look fine. What's going on? I thought something was wrong. Just a bad dream. It's all right. Goblins had me in a cage. Poked me with pointy sticks. Aww. Hush now, it was just a nightmare. We're safe here with Mistress. Oh. He'll settle in. Give it a little time. You two looked cozy together, bad dreams aside. He's still young. I remember Gonwick would let me sleep under his cloak when I was a pup. It helps. <laughs> did you call me Mistress? Just I, I, I suppose I did. You've been good to us. To both of us. Gonwick would be happy I'm with you, I think. Like it here. Warm fire. Scratch reminds me of Big Brother. Aww. Will you... Well, you're both welcome here. You have two hands for a reason. Pet Scratch and Owlbear come at the same Thank time. You. Oh my god. It's too adorable. Oh. Ooh. That was wonderful. All right. With that, I think this is a good time to end off. I hope everybody enjoyed. It was the greatest scene ever. I don't know any more else that I can get out of this game without being so happy with everything I've experienced so far. Uh, but with that, uh, I'm ending the episode. If you're not subscribed, please do. And I hope you enjoy. And I hope to see you in the next one. And if I don't, hope you have a good afternoon, a good evening, a good night. Take care, and bye-bye.